Hello friends, this is Durga um, as part of setting up uh, clusters on uh, AWS. Um, in this video, I will be talking about uh, high level architecture um, of uh, how you have to visualize uh, setting up the clusters, especially for R&D purpose. And we will try to, uh, I will try to cover all the important components uh, as part of uh, this series. So uh, what you need to have, uh, so let me start with uh, prerequisites. You just need to have basic knowledge of uh, AWS and uh, also some uh, um, and, and also by this time you should be familiar with uh, Hadoop arch architecture. Let me add that point here. Hadoop brief knowledge of Hadoop and its architecture. You just need to have brief knowledge, no need to be very detailed. So uh, at a very high level, um, Hadoop or any big data cluster, um, the architecture can be visualized like this. You will have a bunch of clients, uh, you will have masters, few masters, and you have many, many slaves. So, and uh, within an enterprise level, you will have different sources that will be talking to this uh, uh, servers. The sources can be RDBMS, closure systems, as well as open third party applications or in-house applications. And these have to be connected through clients. That's where clients come into picture. And uh, uh, then you have to design clients in such a way that you can stage all the data from these sources before loading into any big data system. Um, it could be streaming, it could be uh, batch, it could uh, batch again, it could be mi micro level, macro level and uh, uh, one, uh, for staging the data and uh, dumping into uh, big data uh, clusters, you should not use uh, the servers which are designated as masters and slaves. You need to have uh, uh, servers designated to be clients and those are responsible to uh, to load the staged data into the big data system and also th uh, those clients will act as gateways for other applications uh, which will be leveraging big data so clients uh, are very key and you need to have a uh, uh, few of the uh, uh, servers as clients So at, at a high, very high level, you will have one or two clients, uh, several masters, typically three to four, and tens, of, tens to hundreds of slaves. And uh, uh, I'm uh, visualizing uh, uh, on the left side, I am uh, talking about clients. On the right side, you will have all the slave process that will be running. And in the middle, you will have the masters popping up like this. So uh, the f uh, uh, these are the, um, uh, so the first thing which you need to set up on your cluster is the monitoring servers and uh, monitoring servers can be, sorry, monitoring system can be Cloudera or Hortonworks or any third party uh, uh, distribution um, uh, with respect to Hadoop uh, will have monitoring uh, 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 components and uh, the first step you need to take care on a uh, uh, when you actually start from the ground is to set up the monitoring uh, uh, system, uh, uh, monitoring components. And these monitoring components not only help you monitoring the, uh, the clusters, but also uh, they will let you to set up, uh, they will provide you with us to set up uh, the clusters in a uh, uh, easier fashion. Rather than struggling from command line, they provide uh, uh, web interfaces and all those things. And uh, whether it is Cloudera or Hortonworks, um, there will be a server as we have seen in the middle. And uh, that's, uh, that server should also have agent because uh, agents are typically uh, the ones which will be monitoring all the resources on the server like memory, CPU, uh, hard disk and, uh, uh, and other uh, software process. So in this case, if you want to monitor your uh, host which is running server, you have to have agent. So it is typical that you, you have uh, agents also uh, set up on the same server you, you, where you have uh, server as well. 
and then uh, all the data that uh, that is fetched from other monitoring agents like uh, um, these ones uh, um, you need to have a monitoring database and that monitoring database can be mysql or postgres or oracle database typical relational database and uh, 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 if you if you use ambari for uh, hortonworks which uh, ambari web ui for hortonworks or cloudera manager uh, for cloudera uh, you will see dashboards, health uh, uh, related reports and all those things. All, all those reports are actually rendered off of this monitoring database. And uh, uh, once you set up the monitoring, uh, the first thing you need to take care is you have to set up HD, uh, Hadoop. Hadoop contains uh, HDFS and uh, these are the daemon proxies which you have to set up and uh, uh, typically a uh, name node uh, uh, which is master for the hdfs will go on will go on to one node and secondary name node will go on to uh, different nodes and uh, then uh, uh, you need to have set up uh, on the uh, on the servers uh, that are designated clients you need to have clients uh, um, uh, set up on them so clients are nothing but it will have binaries of Hadoop and also the configuration files. And uh, then on uh, the, uh, the servers which are designated slaves, which will be typically tens to hundreds of them, each one will have uh, need to have data node. So here I am only showing two boxes uh, representing two hosts, but uh, uh, you will have tens and hundreds, uh, tens to hundreds of them, and each each one should have. Uh, this data uh, data node process uh, running on them and then uh, 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 when you actually set up the server the uh, first thing uh, you will be setting up for Hadoop is uh, uh, HDFS as well as YARN so for HDFS I spoke about name node secondary name node etc for uh, um, for uh, YARN you need to set up uh, resource manager on one host uh, typically it will be a, a different host in a production setup but you can share with other uh, masters so for example uh, to minimize our aws costs uh, we will be setting up resource manager either on the one where name node is running or secondary name node is running or some other node i will have three masters uh, for uh, uh, in our cluster uh, and i will have three uh, three slaves and all these three masters, uh, all these six will act as clients. Uh, but typically, we will have separate uh, servers as clients. Uh, but in our case, to minimize cost, we will uh, limit them to six. And uh, I will deploy client on, on all of them. You will understand when we actually do hands-on stuff, what I'm talking about. So coming to YARN, uh, you will have resource manager on one, uh, one master server, one physical server and uh, you need to have clients deployed on client uh, 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 yarn clients deployed on uh, the those one or two client uh, uh, one or two physical servers that are designated as clients and then on each of the uh, slave node or uh, physical server um, uh, on this 10 to hundreds of them uh, should have something called node manager so all this configuration uh, we will be taking care um, on a six node cluster uh, in this so and also there, there is a zookeeper process um, which uh, which acts like a clustering service uh, like if you are from oracle background you might have heard about crs css uh, similar to that uh, there, uh, there is a process uh, there is a software called zookeeper and you need to deploy it on three uh, uh, on three masters if it has no clients it only have masters and uh, in our case all uh, uh, even in the production cluster uh, we will be uh, having at least three or four nodes and we will be deploying zookeeper typically on three physical servers and uh, those physical servers might have other uh, master components in them like name node or secondary name node or resource manager uh, so uh, these these things might already be there uh, on those hosts so now coming to our curriculum, we will be uh, progressing six nodes, and uh, the red uh, we will be using 6.5 uh, Red Hat platform, 
and we will be using large instance which will have 7.5 GB RAM and uh, uh, then we will uh, uh, talk about uh, uh, further steps so let's go ahead and uh, set up uh, six node cluster um, it will be covered in the subsequent video and then we will see uh, all the other steps uh, uh, step by step i hope you are enjoying the channel and content if you are not subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. Um, if you like this video, please like it. If you want to post a com uh, uh, comment uh, uh, to provide feedback or if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment on my video. Thank you. Bye.